Hello, today we're gonna disassemble and uh, make a little upgrade on uh, ASUS model N580V. To install the SSD drive we have to remove the bottom cover, we're gonna remove all the screws and eventually the bottom cover will pop up very easily. I don't know why the engineers in ASUS didn't uh, leave any service hole, especially for the hard drive. But probably they wanted to make it more aerodynamic, I don't know. So right now we are removing the whole screws. They should be the same size. Only the those four, they're a little bit shorter than the others, so just be careful not to put a longer screw. Because you, you can damage the board or you can damage the, the body of the laptop. So right now we have to find a weak spot from uh, where we can start. You can use a metal plate or some guitar pick. You just have to be very careful not to scratch the laptop because it's brand new after all. We're gonna put these bolts on the side. Just and right now we're starting to remove the top. Just let me see where we can easily remove it. You can start from the battery in here. Like this. After that continue to the other side. Just be careful. And normally this this should be a user upgradable, which is not actually very easy, but all the new models, the Dell models and uh, the ASUS and stuff, they're all the same. They're making it with no service hall at all. So we're gonna leave the party. And right now we're gonna install the the hard drive. The next weird thing, if you ask me, is that uh, they put the hard drive, the SSD hard drive, right next to the speakers, which I don't know is it a good idea or not. The laptop by itself uh, holds the SSD hard drive uh, 2280, you know, the standard. Officially, they don't say that it is uh, supporting uh, MVA hard drive, so you can check if you like. Now we have to put a small bolt. I just gotta find some that can fit. Let me check with this one. Yeah, like this. After that, just put everything back together. And hopefully everything will work fine. We are reassemble it. Just be careful with all the plastic clips. You can put first the side on which you have the Wi-Fi and the LAN connectors. After that, gently press.
each side separately like this after that check the other one like this and after that push a little bit the cooler after just after that just uh, you know put the screws back together it's actually a very nice laptop it's with the aluminium body got a pretty decent hardware inside uh, i7 processor it's got a dual fan you know for a better cooling and uh, it's got a nvidia 1050 i think gtx series pretty decent laptop in a pretty no small package we're gonna check right now is everything okay with the with the ssd drive We're gonna put the left screws. And basically, that's the whole procedure. Just let me check is everything closed correctly. Yeah, we didn't damage the chassis which is uh, pretty good and right now we can start it to see whether it sees the drive or not but it's got no battery let me plug the charger everything in plastic now like this and we're gonna see is everything okay we're gonna enter the BIOS battery is very weak I think yeah the logo comes I don't know if you can, you can see yeah total memory yeah it gets the hard drive it says uh, 128 gigabytes it's a Hunix chip so yeah basically that is hope you like the video like and subscribe bye bye